Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis. Welcome back to my channel dedicated to providing information about long acting reversible contraception and prevention of unplanned pregnancy. In today's video, we're going to talk about emergency contraception. Now it's May of 2022 and given the political situation in the United States with regards to potential future access to abortion services, I thought that this topic would be particularly important and timely. Um, and just in general, given what's going on um, in the US, I really think that now more than ever, um, access to contraception and prevention of unplanned pregnancy um, is really going to be uh, key in the days ahead. Um, it's always been a passion of mine, obviously, to educate about prevention of unplanned pregnancy. Um, but now more than ever, I feel this is such an important topic. So when we're talking about emergency contraception, it's important to emphasize the word emergency, which is to say that this isn't intended to be your go-to form of contraception. This is meant as a backup plan just in case. Um, so if for whatever reason contraception wasn't used, um, if you used a condom but it broke or slipped or spilled, um, if you are using a contraceptive method such as the birth control pill, the patch, the ring, but made an error in your use of uh, that method such as a missed pill or um, a delayed patch application or insertion of the ring, um, Unfortunately, there are some situations where patients need uh, emergency contraception because of a sexual assault um, or non-consensual sexual experience that has occurred. Um, and unfortunately, that might be a reason uh, that someone is seeking out emergency contraception or if someone's using the fertility awareness method um, and has mistimed things or um, has used uh, withdrawal improperly, uh, these would be some situations where uh, someone might turn to emergency contraception. Now I'm going to start right off um, by telling you about a method of emergency contraception that is the most effective at preventing uh, an unplanned pregnancy. And a lot of patients don't actually realize that this is an option for emergency contraception. So a lot of people don't know that the copper T IUD is actually the most effective method of emergency contraception. I like to call it plan T. So the copper T IUD inserted up to seven days, a full week after unprotected intercourse um, is up to 99% effective at reducing the risk of pregnancy. So a 99% risk reduction rate with the use of the copper T IUD within one week after unprotected intercourse. So some of the advantages of turning to the copper T IUD for emergency contraception. One big advantage in addition to the very high efficacy rate is that when that patient then has the copper T IUD inserted, they then walk away with ongoing contraception that is very, very effective, less than a 1% chance of pregnancy ongoing um, for up to five years generally, depending on the precise copper T IUD that's used, but most commonly a five year. So um, that patient may not require contraception for the full five years. The IUD can be removed at any time. They don't need to keep it in um, for that duration. Uh, but if they choose to do so, they're walking away with highly effective, long acting reversible contraception. Another advantage uh, of the copper T IUD is that it is not dependent on the patient's weight for efficacy. I'm gonna speak a little bit about plan B, um, which is one of the most common pill form emergency contraceptions uh, that most patients are aware of. Um, but what patients may not be aware of is that um, if you have a high BMI of greater than 25, uh, there has been some evidence to show that plan B may be less effective, whereas with the copper IUD, it, its efficacy is independent of the patient's weight. 
Now, for those of you who are familiar with my channel and maybe have checked out some of my many other videos, you probably know that there are two kinds of IUDs, the copper IUD and the hormonal IUD. It's important to point out that the hormonal IUD has not been approved for use as emergency contraception. However, there has been some recent new data to suggest that there may be equivalent efficacy of the 52 milligram levonorgestrel IUD uh, for emergency contraception contraception. So stay tuned for more um, information on that. And as new data uh, is presented, and if guidelines change, I will make a point of updating uh, the information in this video via the um, video notes section. So stay tuned on that. Now, just to switch gears to talk about some of the other very commonly available and well-known emergency contraceptive options. Um, so most patients by now are aware of the option of Plan B. Um, some other names uh, would be Norlevo, um, Option 2, or Next Choice um, in terms of options available in Canada. Um, but Plan B is a uh, pill-based emergency contraceptive method um, that consists of uh, two 750 microgram levonorgestrel tablets taken together. So 1.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel taken as a single dose. It is most effective if taken within 24 hours of unprotected intercourse, but may be taken for up to five days. Um, and uh, it's important to note that this method is um, very dependent upon where the patient is in their menstrual cycle in terms of how effective it's going to be. Its overall reduction rates and um, pregnancy rates is in the range of 75 to 89% reduction in risk of pregnancy. But it's important to note that if it's taken either on the day of uh, or the day just before ovulation, it's not going to prevent pregnancy. It's not going to be effective. So um, keep that in mind. And then the other point to keep in mind is that it may be less effective um, if the patient has a body mass in index of greater than 25. So keep that in mind. Now, the other pill-based emergency contraception that's now available in Canada is called Ella, um, which is the brand name of uh, a medication con called ulipristal acetate, uh, which is a selective progesterone receptor modulator. And it's a 30 milligram dose, a single dose, and it's effective for up to five days um, after unprotected intercourse. Um, and this has been shown to be slightly more effective than Plan B. It's important to note that um, while Plan B is available over the counter without a prescription in Canada, that Ella does require a physician's prescription. Um, but it is slightly more effective, um, particularly if taken outside of that first 24 hours. The further along you go away from the episode of unprotected intercourse, um, it will be a little bit more protective compared to Plan B. Um, and now again, reinforcing that um, the copper IUD still remains the most effective options for up to seven days, whereas the uh, Plan B and Ella are effective only up to um, five days and more effective if taken sooner after the unprotected uh, episode of intercourse. Now, in terms of potential strategies for accessing emergency contraception, I know that most patients tend to think of plan B because it is the most immediately available. It doesn't require a physician's visit, it doesn't require a prescription, um, and is available over the counter. Now, one thing that I would um, suggest as a potential, uh, as a potential strategy for providing you with the most effective option for emergency contraception. Consider starting with plan B. Um, again, best taken within 24 hours. You've had an unprotected episode of intercourse. You go immediately to the pharmacy, you take plan B, but don't then discount the possibility of using a copper IUD on top of that. Using plan B does not at all preclude you then taking a step further and 
trying to access a copper IUD as emergency contraception in addition, which may be more effective um, and particularly depending on what phase you are in the menstrual cycle. So in terms of looking for places that may be able to, on short notice, um, insert a copper IUD, um, in Canada, if you look to the RACE network, that's R-A-I-C-E, um, and there is a list of clinics that um, provide rapid access to um, contraception and intrauterine contraception. Um, for long-term purposes and for the purposes of emergency contraception. Um, you can look to a sexual health clinic um, in your uh, surrounding area, um, a Planned Parenthood clinic. You can contact your family doctor's office uh, to see if they know of some place that they can refer to um, that will expedite the uh, referral for insertion of a copper IUD for emergency contraceptive purposes. Um, so one strategy again might be start with taking Plan B or Ella, if you have um, access to a prescription, and then follow through um, with uh, looking into a copper IUD within seven days um, after unprotected intercourse. So that was a bit of information about emergency contraception. I hope that you've learned something new from this video. Uh, particularly, I hope that um, you've taken away the message that the copper T IUD is actually the most effective form of emergency contraception. Um, and really, I think, Given what's going on in the world right now, I really think that now more than ever, um, it's incredibly important to look towards prevention. Uh, I think it's incredibly important for patients to arm themselves with fact-based information about pregnancy prevention. Um, and I hope that my uh, YouTube channel can be a resource to you. So definitely do check out some of my other videos um, and check out my Instagram uh, account at Dr. Underscore Dervatis uh, for more information on pregnancy prevention and long acting reversible contraception. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.